today we are making lahmacun. Hello everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşen Altan. I have my dough ready here. It is resting. Normally we have flour, salt and water. The flour should be strong because we make it very thin and have topping with the minced meat and veggies. So we need a strong flour to be able to hold its shape. I have one cup lukewarm water and I'm gonna add extra if needed. Adding two and a half cups of strong flour half teaspoon each sugar and salt and fourth of a teaspoon dry yeast knead until smooth not sticking you can drizzle more water and shape it into a bowl we're not gonna wait to rise it is just going to work its way while baking so now I'm gonna make my topping. I have 250 grams ground beef, two medium-sized tomatoes, onion, two green peppers, one chili peppers, one red pepper. This is must-have because it gives a beautiful taste and we use in kebab recipes mostly. So make sure to use a minus from the freezer. I'm also gonna use chopped parsley again from the freezer we're gonna use the fresh pan for topping to serve and the spices first the onion peppers three cloves of garlic and i'm gonna check the green pepper how spicy hot it is okay it is hot <laughs> but not that much so i'm gonna add without the seeds let's say keep this one out and let's process this and then add the tomato uh, minced meat and spices in traditional way we have a special knife to finely chop the veggies you can do this but i want to give you the easiest way possible so you can enjoy making the lahmacun without hassling and working too much This is enough. Now the tomatoes. Next the uh, minced meat and the spices. Half a teaspoon paprika, half a teaspoon or a bit more. Isot pepper, this is smoked flaky pepper. Cumin, again half a teaspoon. I'm gonna add a bit more. It's up to you. Black pepper and one teaspoon salt half a tablespoon pepper paste if you don't have you don't have to use it you can omit tomato paste if your minced meat doesn't have much fat usually it is preferred to have at least 20-25% of fat you can add a bit olive oil let's check Smells like lahmacun. <laughs> it is very thick, and you know what? Um, it is better to have some like a liquid warm water because we have fat inside the minced meat, and when you add cold water, it comes together and becomes more thick even. So use kind of a liquid warm water to adjust the consistency to spreadable. I'm not gonna use all of it, but add it about. Three tablespoon now. This looks good to me now. I'm gonna let it rest for half an hour. All the flavors come together. While my topping is resting, I'm also going to shape my dough into balls and then rest and we will continue in half an hour. My dough is rested, so 
we are ready to shape. At the first move you can add more flour and it should take like a couple of strokes to get it big and make sure to flip from time to time and not stick it. It begins to stick so I'm gonna sprinkle a bit more, not too much and it is better to let me just sprinkle and close the others so don't get dry. I'm gonna cook my lahmacun in this pan. This is heavy duty but not cast iron, non-stick, special for making gözleme but uh, with a lid that we can uh, close. We're gonna create steam and it will be able to uh, cook fast and crispy at the bottom. I'm gonna use my widest uh, pan's lid to close my lahmacun. If you have smaller one, just make your lahmacun smaller so it can fit. Okay, here we go. Another thing is to transfer the lahmacun after putting the topping. To make it easily, we're gonna use baking paper to transfer. So I'm gonna put my dough here. Here we go. Uh, my Topping is rested and it is still a bit stiff so I'm gonna add more uh, warm water. It is kind of okay. Let me try one and then we can decide. I didn't add the, add the chopped parsley so I'm gonna do it now. Get about two tablespoon and then spread. And we are ready to transfer. After one minute, I'm gonna get this paper and continue to cook. So I have enough steam on my topping and I'm gonna continue to cook so the steam can now go out and evaporate a bit. It is like medium high right now. We are looking to get some nice brown spots. Okay, this is enough. And this time I'm gonna try with dough scraper. So I'm going to continue to shape my lahmacuns, the spread from the topping and cook. If you want to bake in the oven, make sure to use the hottest settings like 250 Celsius degree. You might need to work in batches, cook first at the lowest part of the oven and then put on the top shelf to nicely bake the top. But the thing is you can make your lahmacun bigger, it doesn't have to be this size, just make a big one that can fit to your tray, that would be your bonus. So two minutes already, with the lid I'm gonna open it, get my paper, very easy to transfer and continue to cook.
Okay, here is the last one, my friends. And we have our greens to roll up together. We don't have lemon, Zeynep, do we? Here we have. <laughs> when I continue to make the lahmacun, margins, I realize that you don't have to make it in the final size that you want. Make it a little bit smaller, add enough from the mincemeat topping. And when you transfer the dough, it's stretches a little bit so that's what I found from my observation when the lahmacun masters are making but they don't tell maybe they don't just realize it's a small thing small hint but it is helpful it could be easier when you roll next to your stall top you just transfer like this but I had to you know do it from here so it takes a little bit more time of course using a paper also very helpful very easy to make we did some filming actually and I had to reheat. Even if you eat in restaurants, you have to eat like within the first couple of minutes to get the best crispiness from the lahmacun. But you can always reheat it. Get some from the thinly sliced lettuce. These are usually comes like this and get some couple of tomatoes, lemon and make sure to get iron diluted yogurt drink. Now we roll. Can you hear the crispiness? And We already had one with Zeynep, the first one. And she said, mom, this is really the best and very close to the one we ate in restaurant. And really it is my friends. So give it a try my friends, I hope you will enjoy, I gave as much as detail as I can. If you still have any questions just write down in the comments and what else would you like to see and see you next time. Afiyet olsun.